Hello my loves, hope you had an amazing start of the year. With the approach of 2024, I wanted to make a little video about something I enjoy to do every new year. Resetting and setting new goals for the year ahead. I found this to be the perfect time to do some self-reflection about the year that ends, to look back and think about the goals that we've set for ourselves, if they were fulfilled, if they were settings that work or didn't work out, and the lessons we've learned across this time. And while our life will not magically have a reset button, I like to use this moment to try and refocus my energy, and it always helps me when it feels like I have lost my track or I've spread too thin to too many things. And also as a way to approach life with a renewed energy and determination. This has always helped me to achieve personal and professional development, giving me purpose and direction, and it also helps me to stay motivated for the rest of the year with a clear goal in mind. So I thought about sharing some of those reflections and new goals for my 2024 and how I plan to achieve them. If this is something you are interested in, keep it watching because we are resetting this year and planning new goals today, baby. So be welcome or welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Chelsea Escalona, a digital artist and a small business owner. Thank you for joining me in today's video and let's start. First of all, 2023 was a year of new beginnings for me. I was just recently moving to a new country, still getting to know the bits and bobs of it, trying to figure out what direction I wanted and could take with my art career. So I kind of set some pretty big goals for that year. First, I opened my Patreon in March and started uploading content right away on it work on some book covers illustrations to add to my portfolio and expand it. I set the goal to get represented by an agency, to upload more often on my YouTube channel and to build and launch my online shop. I know, I get tired only just to say it out loud. The cool part? I actually got it all done and kept it through the entire year. While this sounds exciting, there were some stuff that didn't work out the way I would have liked it. My Patreon page didn't get much traction, the YouTube channel growed only to half my goal, and the online shop has had very slow movement since sales since opened in July. So not all were good reviews for my goals, but that was the problem. I was setting impossible goals to achieve in just one year. So for my Patreon, I learned the lesson that maybe my audience is not big enough yet to support the fact to upload tons of content every month on an exclusive platform. On my YouTube, I haven't reached the 100 first posted videos in long format to actually find my voice and flow and what is what you like to see from me. And finally my shop, which has only been open for like 6 months or so, and still needs to grow in awareness and in the amount of products that I have there. So I'm not gonna lie, I had a major breakdown in November. I was feeling lost, like I wasn't accomplishing anything and very much depressed to not have reached my dream goals for that year. And also like time is ticking against me. It wasn't until I spoke with a friend and my husband that they helped me to see the bigger picture and to acknowledge how much I had accomplished that year. Even if the results were not showing immediately and I still can't really live from my art. But I was doing so much, guys. I was planting the seeds for my future. I was now in the phase where I needed to water those seeds and wait for them to grow. Patience was something I was not taking into my equation. I realized I was setting impossible expectations in such a short time. So one of my big lessons for, from 2023 was to acknowledge that I did accomplish my goals, but now was time to give them care, love and patience and wait for the results, which is the hardest part. So if you are feeling like you didn't get too far from where you were last year, please think again. 
you might be overseen and undervaluating your efforts and this is only putting an extra burden on your shoulders that prevents you from making progress. So for 2024, I decided to bring what was working and leave what was just filling time but going nowhere. And also start making smaller and measurable goals with what I already had built in 2023. So the first thing I did was to separate what I was going to keep and double on this year, like my YouTube channel, which despite not having reached the thousand subscribers yet, it's been growing steadily and you guys have been sending me the most positive feedback from my videos which tell me I'm actually on the right path so I just need to keep learning and finding my way into a more streamlined video making to be more consistent when it comes to posting videos for my patreon I'm actually going to post it from the start of 2024 I want to give myself time to keep building a like-minded community and finding people that connect with me and my art and maybe in the future revisit this goal and give it another go. My point with this is that sometimes we need to pause and reevaluate some goals but not completely get rid of them. And this will be my approach to Patreon for this year. And last but not least, my online shop is definitely something I want to double up. For this, I want to keep creating and testing new products, expanding what I can do and how my art can be translated into beautiful and useful products that will bring you joy, beauty, and help you in your life. And one last, more personal goal I set myself for this year was to create more traditional art. Find a way to translate my digital art style to a canvas or paper and be more free with the art I make. Since I was being very self-conscious when it came to creating art. So what comes next? Once I have the list of all the goals I want to achieve, I need to know how I can do this right. So it's time to make a plan. There is an old saying that a goal without a plan is just a wish. And though I believe in the power of attraction, I also believe in the power of action. So the second part of setting my new goals was to make a plan that allows me to achieve them. For my first goal, to keep making videos for my YouTube channel, I have two ways for this. The first will be to create a routine to post two videos a month. And then, once I get the hang of it, increase it to 4 videos monthly. But for this, I really need to find my place and be more comfortable with the type of content I create. In the end, my goal is to keep a journal of my life as an artist and share my learnings and pitfalls with you all. And if anything, being of help too. So, what's the plan? Experiment! <laughs> I want to try and make any kind of video I can think of, like trying new art supplies, reviewing them, sharing more about making new products for the shop, and also trying new transitions and ways to make the videos more visually appealing, which is something I have been enjoying lately from other creators. For my online shop, it's pretty much the same. The plan is to keep experimenting and building new products and testing them, finding things I enjoy making and that you can find useful too. For this, I have made a list of new products I would like to create and will be working on through the year. And also start reaching small local stores that might find interest in selling my products in store. But this is kind of a biggest step. And for my art goals, I have so far three more canvases to paint and my small sketchbook where I want to keep making more one hour drawings for whatever I feel like. I realized that these exercises helped me to reconnect with my work at the end of last year and I started to get more ideas without giving too much thoughts. I just want to keep making more art, whether it's about the same subjects or topics or just more simple stuff that gives me that feeling of joy only art can give me. It might seem like a lot, but the key is to break these goals into smaller tasks. So one thing I did last year and I loved it and I want to keep it this year was to start planning by quarters. This is where you give yourself three months to fulfill one or more goals 
and with these ways you can spread the things you want to do in time, avoiding crunch timings and burning out. Or worse, getting disappointed but not staying on track. The good thing about planning this way is that at the end of the three months you can look back and see if it was possible to achieve those goals or if they might need more time. And you can plan your next quarter based on this information and the remaining things you want to achieve. You can plan by quarters from the start and establish what you want to achieve in each quarter, spreading your goals through the years as a way to keep you motivated and focused. Or you can place quarter by quarter and based on what you are able to do. Keep in mind to set realistic projections and not to pile all in the first three months of the year. Remember, you have 12 months to make things happen. One thing I like to keep in mind is that tasks and goals are flexible. So always keep room for setbacks or unexpected situations. I mean, life happens while you try to make your business or career take off. So it's good to keep that in mind in order to not get disappointed or demotivated if maybe we need to push things into the future sometimes. This also will give you space to welcome new opportunities that might arise like that new project or commission or to redecorate your studio if you need it. Keep yourself open to new things and get out of your comfort zone. To keep myself accountable, I always try to plan my week and think about how much progress I would like to make and how much I can really make. I also take into account when I have more energy during the week and set the most tedious or challenging tasks for those days and left the easiest or more enjoyable for the rest of the week. Another way I keep myself in track is having established sketches for work, like start from 10 a.m. in the morning until 5 p.m. in the afternoon. The reason I started this quote-unquote late is because I do other things before sitting on my desk to work, like watering my plants, making the bed, have a slow start of the day, journaling, getting my makeup done, etc. It depends on the day, but I always try to be at the latest 10 in the morning with my hands on my work. And then I stop in the night to take a bath, make some dinner and unwind. With this organization method, I've kept myself from burning out and allowed myself to have time with my family or for myself. At last, it's normal to feel the need to give yourself a reset when the new year starts and take us to that optimistic point of view of the many possibilities the new year can offer. But I think the most important part is to be objective with our needs and what we can do. Because instead of setting some impossible to achieve goals, we will be able to set manageable ones and to plan for them in a manner that help us not only to achieve them, but to keep ourselves accountable with what we want to do. With that said, I would love to hear some of your goals or resolutions for this 2024. I believe the hardest part of this is to be consistent from the start, which is why I always take January on a more ease pace, like it's the starting month, you don't need to rush at the very beginning. Like someone said to me, it's a resistant race, not a speed one. Therefore, it's important to manage our energies well in order to make it to the finish line. So. Plan your first quarter, even maybe the second one, and distribute your tasks from small to big ones in order to build a habit for yourself that help you keep doing it and not dropping it after the first week. Because you forgot or couldn't post or make that drawing you had planned to. At the end of the day, if you manage to do that task or fulfill that goal, Sooner or later, you will be achieving your new year's resolutions, so keep going. Reschedule it if you must. Push it forward, but do it. Don't drop it just because timing didn't work out. So I hope you liked today's video. To be honest, I wanted to edit it and post it sooner. But like I said, life happens and I'm now in the middle of a big project, so my personal goals will have to take a second share for now. But that's okay, because I'm actually fulfilling other goals I had for this year. See, it's all about how we decided to see situations that life throws at us. 
So don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more. If you think this was helpful, then share it with a friend who might need to hear this. And I hope you had a great start of the year. See you in the next one. Bye!